Alrighty guys, we are back on Fears to Fathom. This time we're playing episode four. I'm so excited to play this one. I just played um the, the one right the episode right before this one. I thought it was great. I thought it was fun. And I said in that video that I was gonna play this one. And so yeah, let's go straight to it. Oh, I'm really excited. Let's see what this game's about. I know it's scary. Oh god, Fears to Fathom episode four. Iron Bark Lookout. May 12. Okay. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fierce to Fathom Carson House, which is the game I just played. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing, but I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. I'm Jack Nelson had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. Alrighty. Okay, so we're playing now. Oh my God, we're actually driving. This is insane. That's our RV right now. It looks pretty cool. Wait, what happened? Why? What? Why do I have to get up? Okay. What? Why is it like this? What the hell? Yo, my movement is so weird. What is going on? I could only move backwards. Yo, this is... Oh, I was pressing the wrong... Oh my god. Wait, what the hell? Okay, so I can I can move now. What? I didn't... Show, was I supposed to pick that up? All right, let me just hold on. Let me look around the RV. Let's just have a look see around the RV. So this is our place of stay. Pretty cozy, honestly. It's our bathroom. Okay, can we open? Nope, we can't. So do we still have our phone like the other games? Yes, we do. All right, so let's read the message from Mitch Scott first. Wow, I don't know if I want to read all this. I'll just read from over here. All right, so I asked him, where can I park my van? So you're arriving on Friday. Just park your truck around back on the gravel park by gate D. And from there, you'll be on foot. Take the Gold Creek Trail. From there, it'll take you a couple of hours until you reach your tower. You'll probably see Billy at the gate. Just show him your ID. Alrighty, I'm guessing this is some sort of co-worker. He's just like helping us get there and stuff. And this one is from a friend or a girlfriend, maybe. I don't know if I should, should I carry my bag. I'm, I'll, I guess I'll carry my bag with me. This is such a weird place to, to park the car, though. Am I supposed to keep going? Why did I stop here? I'm just... Hold up, hold up. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> there was no reason... Was there no reason for... Yeah, there was no reason for me to stop here. Oh, you know what? I think his, my flat tire and stuff, I had to fix it. Okay, okay. I was just wondering. I was like, what the hell? Oh, I got a text message from Kyla. Oh, I don't know if I should check it. I'm just... All right, so let me just... Let me just keep driving. Let me not... Let me not look at my phone, guys. Do not text and drive and stuff. It is not worth it. It is never worth it. Yo, this music is fire. Also, at the beginning of the game, it said it was copyright free, so I don't have to worry about, you know, the audio right now. Got a truck over there. Nice. Hello there, buddy. This is honestly kind of peaceful right now. Oh, look at the birds. Look at the birds. Yo, let's go. The birds, though. So we need to get to a, a trail called Gold Creek Trail. I think that's what it's called. And I guess I just have to keep driving until I get there. I hope we don't get jump scared or anything. We don't get into a car crash. That'd be the last thing I want, honestly. So yeah, let's just keep driving. I know Kyla texted me. I'm not going to check it because I am a responsible and safe driver. We have some houses here. We do. Nice. And I'm speeding. No, I am speeding. Let's go. Are we supposed to stop here? Let me just check my phone. I remember there's this diner while passing Earlsburg. They have the best burgers in town. You have to try them out. Let's try them out then. I'll park my car all the way over here, I guess. Ugh. You know what? I'm just not going to give a fucking... Oh! Fuck! <laughs> my bad. My bad. I'm just going to leave it right there. I know. I know. Blind, what is this parking? What the fuck? Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I know. I know. But we're just going to be in and out, okay? We'll be very quick. And we oh, there's actually people in there. Let's go. I mean, I, why, why wouldn't there be? I know, but... Alrighty, so let's enter, guys. Woo, let's see what's going on in here. Oh, the vibes are crazy. Let's go with the jukebox. Oh, my God. Hello there, buddy. What you eating there? Whoa. Got the burger and fries. This should look at hits. Easily. Oh, my bad. You know what? I'm a, Oh, what the... Damn. Yo, that, that face, though. A little bit scary, but... Welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? I'm just gonna be like, good, how about you? Feel free to take any seat you like, and I'll be right with you. All right, thank you. Let me just interact with, uh... All right, I'm gonna... I'm gonna sit over there, actually, but... 
They're going, buddy. You look a little lost. Just be like, uh, I'm just passing through. So where are you headed? You know, I'm not going to be rude. I'm actually going to tell him. I'm going to be like, start my new job at a nearby state park. Ah, that's great. I didn't know these jobs still existed. I'm asking what he does. I, just, I genuinely want to know. I work in finance. I'm a financial analyst for a big firm downtown. I'm going to ask him if he likes his job. Yeah, it's challenging, but I enjoy it. It keeps me busy. That's for sure. Honestly, I'm going I'm to I'm go with this one over here. I don't think I could have a job like that. I'm just be straight up. It's not for anyone. That's for sure. But I find it very fulfilling. You know what? That's a that's a good mindset to have. It's a it's a good way of life that he's going by. How about this guy over here? What you eating there? I mean, it's a burger. Long day of driving, huh? Where you headed? I'm heading up north to make a delivery. What about you? He's oh okay. So I don't know if I I know I told the other guy what I was doing, but I don't want to. I didn't tell him exactly where. Here it's telling him where I am, you know, stationed at and stuff like that. At least I'm a staffer at the Iron Bark State Park. I'm just gonna say down the road. I'm just gonna say down the road. What the? F I don't want to. You see, I don't want to tell him the other one. All right, look at this guy. What the hell? <laughs> he didn't even say anything. Do you mind if I join you? What? I'm just asking him how the food is. He just stared at me. Okay, you know what, buddy? Fair enough. I'm gonna have a seat right here. I'm gonna have a seat right here. No, no, no. Oh, is that my food? No way. Is that my food? Yes. Yes, my food. Yes. Oh my God, I am so hungry you won't believe it good evening i'm barbara are you ready to order oh that's not my food bro ah! what can i get for you all right here are our options cheeseburger with fries immediately that is my go-to even in real life so i'm gonna choose that no matter what grilled cheese sandwich with onion rings that sounds like it slaps and i'm sure it does and meatball sub with chicken nuggets that also sounds pretty good but i'm i'm sorry i have to go with cheeseburger with fries guys i'm so serious cheeseburger with fries is quite literally my favorite meal whatever of all time like i'm being so serious aha our burger is the best in the west would you like anything to drink hmm large coke coffee or strawberry slush one fact about blind guys i actually hate coffee i tried it one time when i was like seven or eight and i hated it i never tried it since i do not like coffee i never uh, nope nope i'm gonna have to go with the strawberry slush i want something a little sweet you know something a little sugary and stuff i'm gonna go with that one perfect anything else uh that's gonna be all thank you great i'll bring the food out as soon as it's done just let me know if you need anything else all right sounds good appreciate it always had this habit of peeing before eating i'm guessing that's our cue to go to the bathroom here it is right here all righty I really have to pee. There you go. I need to pee. Let's go. This is just like the other game. For some reason, there's so much peeing in these games. I don't. I wonder why. Oh, this guy is. This is a long stream. Let me get my hands first. Alrighty, I think we're. I think we're done now. Just have a seat again. I was in the wrong. Oh wait, this is the wrong one. Did I go to this one? Oh, it was this one, huh? <laughs> my bad. My bad. So it looks. Uh, I like the vibes in here, man. Oh, this is us right here. This is us right here yes yes look at my cheeseburger and fries and strawberry slush it looks so good oh my god let's go oh my god and the con oh, and the condiments let's go oh, oh let's go let's get the fries down looking fries so good and then finally wait can we do anything with the condiments oh, fuck what what oh okay this is so good look at the waitress coming over here to stare at me eat again okay what <laughs> he's going to the bathroom already did you enjoy the food yeah it was it was great it was awesome would you like to have anything else or should i get the check check please okay i'll be right back thank you to what kyla said told you he <laughs> you should send me that casserole recipe you were talking about i might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of cuisine in the new lookout wow yes i'm out what the hell? Here's a check for your total. Seven dollars, seven point six dollars. Okay. Out of these three options, I feel like the middle one's the most reasonable. I'm gonna pay seven point six dollars and a fifteen percent tip. That's not bad, right, guys? That's pretty good. That's not bad. I feel like that's normal. This is also pretty generous down here, but I just don't. I didn't feel like it was really worth it since I just, you know, came here really quick to eat and stuff. I didn't. I wasn't given fucking S tier service, you know. But we're gonna go with this one. I hope that has no effect on the game. I'm pretty sure it doesn't, but hope you enjoyed the rest of your ride. Thank you. Did that guy go? Was I yapping too much? That guy just went to the bathroom and just like, what the fuck? Alrighty, I guess we're on our way again. Oh, I wish I could talk to the chef. Sort of thank him for that beautiful burger. All right, I guess that's it for me, guys. I'm out of here. Goodbye, my fellow people.
All right, let's go back to our car. It's getting darker, man. Oh my God. Let's just get to this lookout. Oh, Did I leave it open or was it? I don't remember if I left it open or not. I know blind. What is this parking? What the fuck? Hold up, hold up, check. What do you mean it was strangely jammed? Bro, there's someone in there. Stop, there's someone in there. Stop. Yo, this shit was open and all of a sudden this shit is jammed? Yo, no, 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 what do I do? Are you, f oh my God, are you kidding me? Is there a way to check? Is there a window in there? Oh my God, it is, it's closed off, are you kidding me? I can't see anything in there. Bro. Why was it weirdly jammed? That just doesn't happen for no reason. Oh, I'm going to get jumped. It's over for me, guys. I don't want to. Oh, <laughs> my God. I'm fucked. I can't. I'm going. Oh, my God. All right. Come on. Let's just let's just get out of here. What the? F All right. You know what? I'm just going to drive out through this way. I am. All, this. The controls are so weird. Oh, wait. There's a guy out here. There's a guy out here. There's a guy out here. Can I stop? I need to get on. My, I want to get on my car. I want to get on my car. OK, let's just talk to this guy real quick. <laughs> I'm gonna just be like, how's that burger? This little piece of heaven? This place is pretty much my weekend spot. You new around here? I'm gonna just be like, yeah, I'm just passing through, buddy. Have a safe journey. I'm just asking where he's heading next time. I'm from Roseburg. This place is pretty much my weekend spot. You know what? This guy seems nice. I'm just gonna tell him. I'm just gonna tell him I'm a new staff at this whatever. We must have wait. We must have heard the news then. What news? Well, a few weeks ago, three kids went missing in the park. It's been all over the news. What? What happened to them? No one knows. The official report says they got lost, but a lot of people around here think something else happened. Something else? There's a rumor going around that a creature got them. A creature? Yeah, you know, like Bigfoot or a goat man. People say there's something like that living in that forest. Do you believe it? A lot of hikers and campers go missing in that forest. Some of them come back with stories you would not believe. Some of them never come back. Bro, I had no idea they yo. Well, I guess I should have talked to the other guy about my job. He probably would have had something else to say about this little story about these guys missing. That's totally what I want to hear before going there. <laughs> 8.02 PM. Oh my God, it's dark now. Yo, no, I'm sorry. No, there's still <laughs> my thing is still jammed back there, bro. I want to keep looking back. Yo, one of these times when I look back, I'm just going to get fucking jump scared. You said to the the guy said to park it on the gravel, right? Like right outside. So I'm, I'm going to park it right over here with this other guy's uh, minivans. I just want to face this way just in case I have to fucking, you know, do an escape getaway. Yeah, there is no reason for that shit to be jammed. I, I wonder what would have been over there if we just kept driving. But I I really don't want to find out. All right, let's go. The guy said on the phone that there is another guy named David or Davy or something like that. Oh, are these the missing? Oh my God, these are the missing people. We got Brittany Spears. Oh, that's a <laughs> that's funny. Hugh Jasman. <laughs> All right, these these are clearly troll names. Sunita Williams. <laughs> oh my God, please stay on trail. Switchback shortcutting destroys the vegetation. Please don't litter. Please pack out all trash. You don't burn. Don't bury trash. Animals will dig it up. And here's a map. And here's a map of the Iron Bark State Park. Alcoholic beverages prohibited. Well, we I don't know about that. Can we uh Oh my god! Oh man. Oh my god. You're shitting me, right? Oh my god. Oh my god. Why did he run up on me like that though? Guys, I haven't played a horror game in a minute where I got a jump scare like that. Jesus Christ. I my whole body literally took a screenshot. Holy moly. You scared me. I thought you were one of them. I scared you? Okay, buddy. All right. First off, I'm going to just say, hold up. You scared me? May Lord have mercy. Anyway, can I see your permit, please? I'm going to say you're Billy, right? I'm a new transfer fire lookout, whatever it said. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring at this season. Who's that in the back? Who's that in the back? Who's that in the back? Who is that? Who is that? Bro. Bro, 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 bro. Wait. Bro. What the f- Bro. <laughs> Hold on. Let me go in here. Close that shit. Okay, pal. You're good to go. You're stapped at Fire Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season, but here are your keys. Wait, I wanted to ask him about something else. Hold up. Let me open the trail gate for you. 
guys there was a whole ass person walking across here on the in the back what can i tell bro about it since you're arriving this late you might also need this flashlight for the long hike to your lookout thank you billy you be careful take this okay we got a flashlight welcome to iron bark pal now for our purposes when you get to your tower be sure to make your first weather report from your system just so we know you clocked in safely if need be you can reach out to tower 11 during your staffing Nice enough guy. He'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. <sighs> Thank you, Billy. Wait, what? Hey, this is a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. I want to know why. I'm sorry. I need to know why. Dangerous woods that way, pal. Bobcats and bears. Nasty business. I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. No, I trust me. I got goosebumps right now. I'm pretty sure he was serious as well. So, so hold on. Let me, let me have a look at what bro's doing. Bro's locked in. He is locked in. There's so many things so far that has happened. I swear there is a person in the bathroom of my RV. I swear. And there's also a guy over here just walking past. I don't know why my character didn't tell Billy about that, but... Oh my god, I left my bag in the RV at first. Oh, I'm guessing they're asking me to go get that shit. All right, I guess I'll just cut to it. Alrighty, so I got my bag from the RV. So let's go on. 11.32 p.m. Guys, it's probably pitch black. Okay, well, it's not that dark, but still. It was a long hike, and it was starting to get cold now. I just want to get to the tower. I'm going to just run my ass there, bro. Guys, I'm getting crazy goosebumps. Wait, Iron Bark. Tower 11, 170 feet. That's to the left, and then the Lacey Trail is 3.2 miles. That's to the right. Okay, so I just I just want to make it to the tower, honestly. I'm just going to make it to the tower. Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. But I've always had a fondness for the outdoors. Oh my god, guys. What, did I, what am I getting myself into? What am I getting myself into? Once you're at the top of the tower, your job is to look for fires or anything out of the ord ordinary. Oh, sorry there. I have to burp. <coughs> All right, we're in, guys. We're in. Let's go. Forgot to turn on the generator at first. I was finally in my new home for the first time in months. Okay, so let me let me go downstairs and get the generator real quick. All right, so here's the... Is it over here? No, it is not here. Dude, where's the generator? Is it over here? This is the generator right here, right? Okay, yeah. All right, good. All right, I think I did it. Yeah, we got light now. Let's go. All right, guys, we finally got light. Let's turn this on. Hey, let's go. So we got a clock in, right? We got a emergency, not emergency, do a weather, weather thingy, whatever. Starting Rainbow 98. I'm guessing that's their version of Windows. Yeah. Okay, so our the hint tells us to check the iron bark rules flyer. Alrighty. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Alright, let's look at the let's read the, the rules real quick. All lookouts must follow these rules while occupying this tower. Number one, lights out after 12 p.m. Number two, supply drops are handed out every Sunday. Number three, absolutely no guests in the lookout. Number four, system password is iron bark tower number. Okay, so it's all lowercase iron bark and for us is gonna be 11. Number five, refuel the generator routinely. Number six, update your reporting software routinely. Number seven, no video games in the system. Okay. Number eight, remember to call your sister station before you sleep. So uh, we know our password now. Okay, nice. Hello there, it's Smiley, your trusty virtual assistant. Here to help you make the most of your computer today. Surprise you found me, how can I assist you today? Clickety click, here's a random fact for you. Honey never spoils. Archaeologists have found pots of honey in ancient Egypt tombs that are over 3,000 years old and still perfectly edible. Okay, so let's just let's do our service reporting first. Welcome to the state of the art service. What? The fuck is going on? Why, why did it turn on? What the hell? New guy. I haven't gotten your name yet. What is it again? Hold up. I don't know who this is. I'm not giving you my name. Hold up. Who is this? Connor. Fire Tower 12. I saw your light turn on. Oh, <gasps> okay. This is our homeboy. All right. This is our homie. All right. Bet that. Bet that. I'm going to say I thought I was alone out here. You're never alone in these woods. We've had to cover your area until you arrived. <sighs> Thank you. I suppose. I'm really tired, buddy. You got a fire going? Hmm. No. All right, you got it. Thanks. We should get our fire started, right? All right, nice. This is Tower 11. This is where we are right here. Where's our homie? Where's Tower? Seems that we got nothing there. What's Plague.exe? 
Looks like you're ready to take on some zombies and have a blast. Good luck. Aim for the head. Yo, they said no games, but they got a whole game in here. This should look sick. Yo, this is... Yo! 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 I'm dead. Oh, my God. No, I'm sorry. I got to play that shit one more time. Hold on. Let me... I got to do some training. Oh, my God, guys. What is going on? Oh, my God. Yeah. What about you, buddy? Who's this? Get out of my way. Yo, why is this little game mode sick? Oh, I think that's it. I'm going to just quit right there. Flash Drive Media Plant Interview Ron Ross Cats. Oh, let's watch this one. What the hell? This is cool as hell. What the hell? What the what? That was weird as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, what's this one? Plant interview? What the fuck? This is weird, bro. Employee training Welcome that I'm to Ironbark State Park. Oh, this is Jack Septic guy. Talking. First to say, congratulations. We've been known as one of the safest parks in America. Cap. The fact that there's a whole horror game based on that? Go. Yeah, that's cap. I do not know how to Oh, is this this where we put our fire stuff? There was no fuck. No, well, not yet, buddy. Alright, I guess we gotta get our, our firewood from from, uh, from the shack down here. I already don't like how I have to do this, but whatever. So we just need... Alright. I'm hoping we don't need multiple of these. That'd be really annoying if I had to go back and forth. Welcome to the state of our... Okay. Measure with the provided equipment and log accurate data. Where do I get my equipment from? How do I get the information, the measurements and stuff? How do I get that? 18, I'm seeing 18. So 18 knots, okay. All right, guys, I looked everywhere. I do not know how to get the weather. I'm gonna just fucking guess that shit is fucking <laughs> a 40 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm just gonna go with that, bro. What's my name again? Jack Nelson. Jack Nelson. Whether it's uh, it's cloudy, pretty cloudy. Number of hikers assisted zero. Something didn't look right. What? Oh, I think I found it. I fucking found it. All right, finally. The temperature was forty six point four Fahrenheit. Forty. I was close, bro. I was close. Forty six point four. I think everything else is right. I wasn't sure if I put in the right weather, bro. Missed clear okay i put clear <laughs> i guess that works all right i'll just be a good night connor talk to you tomorrow all righty first night complete let's put my flashlight right there oh so we get to sleep now nice let me just turn off the light all righty guys so i have a very good feeling we are just going to get waking up in the middle of our sleep so let's just go to bed oh my oh god, god. <laughs> 3 26 a.m what the hell what is going on? Wait, what? Oh my God, Connor? He didn't say anything. I had to pee. What do you mean you had to pee? Just, just, fuck. Where the hell did my flashlight go in my bag? Where did my flashlight go? Oh, there it's over here. On my first night, being out in my cabin gave me a strange feeling. Oh, so we just, we do we just, we can pee anywhere? Are you serious? Okay, let's, let's, let's go over here. Hey. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Nice. Look at we could we can move our streams. Go to the left. Go to the right. Go. Wait. Stop. Bro. No, no, I'm not bugging, right? No, 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 no. I'm not bugging, right? I'm not bugging, right? Y'all see that, right? Yo. Are you fuck bro? Who's that? No, 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 no. Who is that? I know you guys can't see what I'm pointing at, but I'm going to zoom in. Bro, what is that? Bro. What the? Shut your mouth. What? Should I, should I shine my flat? Yo, fuck it. Should I go? What? No, 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 no. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Do I go back to sleep? No, no, no. Wait, what? Who is that? Guys, I want to go down there. I want to go down there. 
Oh, I can't. I can't. Oh my God. Even, even if I did, I couldn't. Oh my God. Why was he shining his flashlight though? What? He's going to get me in the middle of my... Oh my God. He's going to get me in the middle of my sleeping. Oh my God. Okay. Night two complete. I mean, we're on to night two. That's what I meant. It's just you and the wind and the time just melts away. You know, when it gets to morning, it's, it's not bad at all. Yeah, guys, look, we were... I was right. Now it's empty over there. Um, I guess I'll take a photo over here. Um, what should I take a photo of? I want to take a photo of, uh, I guess this right here. Take a photo of that. Nice. Take another photo. Let's go. Let's take a photo of, uh, this little sunset right here. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful, beautiful day. Alrighty, I think we're done with that. Copy that. Connor, what's up? Whoa! What? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Let me have a look. North of my position. Uh, the smoke was white, indicative of a campfire. Oh, I do see it. Yeah, yeah, I do see the smoke. It appears to be in the lazy trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. Oof, I remember passing by the lazy trail sector. I remember passing by that. Am I checking it out? Oof, oof, oof. Okay, heading north, I'll report back on it. Yes, you have any kind of detail. I'm gonna ask if it's safe. Is it safe? That's what's the first thing in my mind right now. Be alert. Carry your bear spray, and you should be fine. All right, whatever you say, Connor. Heading north, I'll report back on it. So let's get our bear spray. We can't bring our flashlight as well. Oh, we can. Okay, yeah. Alrighty, guys, our first adventure out. I have no idea what to expect. Um, I'm honestly kind of scared. I really don't want to die. Okay, so I gotta go this way. I remember Billy telling us though not to go like half a mile past our the north or whatever. Lacey Trail 3.2 uh, miles ahead. All right, so we gotta follow this path. We gotta be careful. There's bears. Look at that. 8:37 p.m. Oh my god, it's nighttime, isn't it? I followed the trail that led me to the smoke. Guys, what's going on? No camping violators will be sighted and moved. What the f I love Jen. She gives the best head. What the fuck? Why are they? Oh, I'm getting all these messages now. Hold on, me. Jack, are you okay? Hope I, I swear I heard something. Hope everything is okay. Reply back when you see this. I'm sorry, Kay. I don't think my sector has very good service of you from my tower. And thanks for the recipe. Might try it tonight. If we make it out alive. Why did they just leave all of their shit here? Okay, that is so weird. Where did they go? Oh, did they go over here? Please don't tell me they went over here. Who's there? Wait, is that someone standing behind the tree? No, I'm bugging, right? That's just... Show yourself! The area beyond that site was closed. What do I do now then? Why did they just leave all their stuff there? Where do I go now? Do I go back? Do I just report? Like, I'm going back. I'm going back. I'm getting goosebumps. This is terrible right now. Oh, it says I knew I needed to put out a campfire before heading back north. Okay. I mean, heading back to the tower. How do I put it out, though? Okay. Yeah, I'll just grab this and then I'll fill it with water. Oh, God. It's going to be dark now, isn't it? Let's get out of here. I'm done with this place. I am so done with this place. Let's just leave. Okay, thank God. I thought they were going to ask us to like do something else. 9.07 p.m. As I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. I had to report to Connor about the vacant campsite. Tower 12, do you copy? All right, I'll tell him about the campsite. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not, buddy. Son of a bitch. <laughs> they never learn, do they? <sighs> All right, has this been happening a lot? This is the third time this month alone. Oh, God. Mentioned scream. I don't think I remember a scream, but I'll just mention I have to, I guess. Scream. It was a manly scream. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Kids went missing in that area? Why does my guy sound surprised? I already knew that earlier from the from the guy near the diner. I was too hungry to go to bed without food. Oh my bad, my bad. We gotta eat. Alright, let's put this in the oven. No, we put this in the microwave. Wait, what do we put this on? Uncooked pasta, marinara sauce, pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, diced tomatoes. So, marinara sauce. Okay, guys, I stopped recording. I don't know when, but <laughs> I hope I hope I can uh, continue recording this. But yeah, 
I'm sorry, I, I might have missed out on like a minute or two minutes or something like that, but just in case, just in case uh, it, I missed it, we finished baking our little casserole thingy and Connor just signed out. That's basically all that, that we missed. So yeah, all right, I was full. I could have kept in the refrigerator. Yep, yep, yes you can. Oh, they're gonna make me go outside again, aren't they? Oh my God. Oh my God, I hate coming down here. Please, 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 please. Nobody bother me, please. Put this in there. Put the gasoline on that. Throw that. Grab this. Put that. Close that. Throw this. Close that. Whew. I've always closed the boards outside. Oh, I didn't know that. Close that. Oh, we gotta go around for that one. Close all of these. All right, let's go to sleep finally. My God. Please don't wake up, please. Oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. 2.27 AM? Wait, what? I was woken up by some feeling that caused my eyes to drift open. What am I hearing? I hear someone whistling. Were they right outside my thing? What the f- No! Wait, what? What the fuck? Bro, there's someone right outside. What the f- What? I didn't know what to make of it at the moment. What the fuck? What the fuck? I hate that. What the fuck? Next day I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason as it was a harmless prank by some kids, but there was something about that night that just felt darker. There was something strange happening in those woods. My paranoia for these woods only grew after- wait, what the f- why did someone guys i hate this why was who set off that fucking hello is anyone there who the f uh, i need help please oh Sorry, god i need sir. to talk to bro hello can anyone hear me uh i hear you loud and clear oh, thank goodness uh, i'm lost and i'm i'm really starting to freak out what's going on I want to say, what equipments do you have with you? I have a flashlight, a compass, a fully charged two-way radio, a flare gun, and, and some of my camping equipment. Oh, that was the flare gun guy. All right, uh, can you describe I'm your clothing? A red jacket, camo pants, and a green backpack. All right, let's remember that. Red jacket, camo pants, green backpack. I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. Don't worry, buddy. I saw them. Wait, see what? Trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Uh, let me let me scan the map. Let me let me look at the map real quick. So, bro said he was heading west, right? He was heading this way, and he just got to a fuck. Where where was he at? Where is bro though? Like where? Fuck. He came east, and he was heading west. Is he over here? Oh my fucking god, I don't want to lead him to the wrong place. I just don't, I genuinely just don't know where I am. Like, I don't know where he's at. I don't know what he described it as. Mm, I'm gonna just say go left. Can you help me? <laughs> I knew it. Oh, I thought fuck, it was I don't know if I gave him the right I one. Hope you reach back to the trailhead safely. I'm right here. Is he? What? I hear you. What? I hear your whistles. Huh? That's not me. What? I see you behind the trees to my right. Bro, that's not me. You're freaking me out. Oh my god, I just led bro to his death. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. <laughs> I oh my god. What were you doing here last night? What do you mean? Up north, why were you there? I've been hearing you've been a bit on the edge. Everything alright? I'ma mention skull. Oh, Lord have mercy. Did you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? Oh, I didn't think about it. You know, it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. Anyways, it's getting late. I better get going now. I'll just keep watch. Oh, do I have to watch you leave? No way. Billy, stay, please. Billy, stay. I'm gonna watch Billy leave because I don't, I hate this right now. I'm gonna watch Billy fade into 
the distance. I need to watch this. Let's see where you go. I hope you don't get snatched up. You should, yo, we should be worried about Billy too. Cause like, he's just on his own. Billy, no, he actually did. What am I going to eat tonight? Oh, I still got this from, uh, from before. I forgot. While that's in there, let me, let me get the, the measurements of everything. This is a 23 knots. Okay. 23 and it is 57.7 57.7 and 23 knots number of a uh, hoof i would put one but i don't think i really helped him <laughs> i think i actually led him to his death if i had to be honest oh my god sorry i'm guessing we're gonna finish this right now this little casserole come on one more bite one more bite i was done with it let's go Oh my God, this guy in his fucking fires, bro. Oh, fucking God. He can't do it beforehand? Like, bro seriously can't get the wood, the firewood beforehand. He makes sure it's nighttime until he does it again, bro. It's fuck, I hate it. You know, one of these times I come out here, I'm just gonna get snatched up. Nothing over here, right? Oh my God! <laughs> Got him! Why? Was this the guy from, uh, from the diner? Who are you? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I'm just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. Oh my God. <laughs> Thought I'd say hi to the new guy everyone's been talking about. What's your name? Names can be deceiving. Call me Silas or Silas? Silas.yellow? What? Every Sunday, just trying to keep the communication lines open. You must ensure that the right message reached the right places. Wouldn't you agree? But some fires are meant to burn and no amount of prevention can stop them. Nature has its own plans. Some things can be controlled no matter how hard we try. And sometimes disasters are just another form of cleansing, a way for the land to purify itself. Yo, bro, you just ran up on me like that and now you're speaking gibberish, bro? What are you talking about? I'll see you around, brother. Have a good night, Jack. I, oh, hold up. I did not give bro my name. I did not tell you my name at any point in this conversation. How the fuck do you know that? Curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. What the fuck? This guy gave me the creepy- Wait, where are you going? Oh my god, where are you going? Are you serious? <laughs> Is he going towards the this little wire? What the fuck? Surely that was the guy at the at the beginning of the game, right? Where we saw him walk. We saw him from the window when we were talking to Billy at the beginning. I hope that's him, bro. I hope he's just a weirdo who just does shit like that. Ugh. Loud and clear. Finally. I'm gonna say I ran into Silas downstairs. Ran into who? Oh God. What do I say? The guy maintaining that nearby radio tower? The guy radio tower worker? I'll just do this one. That radio tower's been out of service for ages now. Then who did I just talk to? Look, if what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. But he knew my name. Do you Let's just go. Oh, I forgot to. Shit. I forgot to close my fucking blinds. Don't wake up in the middle. Okay. My knees was starting to grow with each passing day. When I signed off that night, I told myself that it was just a change of environment that I needed to get used to. The strangeness I've seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause any alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Two nights later? 9 18 p.m. Alrighty. Nice. Your system is now up to date. Wait, what? No. Oh my god. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Why are they making me do this? Why are they making me do this? Please, no one jump scare me. Please. For the love of God. Bro, this mother... F I really have to pee before going back up. What is stopping you from peeing right here? No, our character's a bot. Why can't he just pee right here? Don't tell me I have to go here. You're fucking joking, right? All right, our character's a fucking pussy. Are you kidding me? Yeah, we're fucked. We're fucked. They're doing this just for plot. This is so stupid. There was literally no point in using this porta potty. You could have had your eyes open just pissing out in the open. There was no point to doing that. I'm sorry. One week later. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there was no fires going, the only thing I'd I do is check in on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked. 
unless I was talking to myself. 2.34 a.m.? Oh my fucking god. We got another one. What? See more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. You see the campsite from your end? Uh, let me have a look. Say don't run away this time. Take your photos and IDs. Bro, it is 2.34 a.m. I'm not about to go up to a fucking group of campers just by myself. Update me tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get some rest. Connor, you motherfucker. Is it over here? Oh my god, it is over here. What the fuck? What are they doing? Only thing that made sense at the time was to take evidence of it. Wait, what are they doing? <gasps> what are they doing? Why do they all look like that? Where's my camera? Where's my camera? Where's my camera? Alrighty, this is where we take the photo. We're supposed to be out here. Can I scroll in? Yeah. Let me get them all in frame. Boom. Wait. Oh my god. No, no, no. Wait, what? Oh my god, what's going on? Oh, no. Wait, what? What the hell? What's going? No. Why is he coming? No. Oh my god, I gotta hide. I gotta hide. I gotta hide. Uh. <laughs> no. Guys, I gotta be quiet. I gotta be quiet. Should I mute my mic? Fuck it. I'm gonna do it without muting it. What do you mean I had to make a run? Can I call someone? Bro, I want to call someone. I think he left. I think he left, so we're good. Huh? Oh my god! Wait, what? Oh, you! Oh, 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 no! No, 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 no! Oh my god, oh my god, please, please, please! Please, please, please! No! 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 What? No! Was I supposed to go that way? I died. I, I was not supposed to go that way, wasn't I? Oh my god. I'm doing that again. I'm literally doing that again. All right, guys. I think I know where to go now. Go in here. I was supposed to go in here the whole time. He's in there. Oh my god. Guys, he's in there. You see him? Oh my god. Wait, I want to see if he could. Uh, does he move? Hello? Hello? What happens if I go over there? Nope, it's not worth it, guys. He's over there. Guys, it's time to go. Let's make a run for it. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Oh my god. Is he not ch Alright, he's not chasing us. Let's go. Guys, I don't know where to go. Alright, let's just go this way. Can we can we go back to Billy, please? Oh my god. Okay, yes. Oh my god. I made it. Billy, can you Billy! Let me in, Billy! Why is it locked? Oh my god. Wait, what? No! 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 Why is he chasing me? He's so fast! Oh my god! No! Close it! Oh! Go, go, go! Oh my god, as the adrenaline kicked in, I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed in to alert the HQ. We all get a little stir crazy out there, Mitch answered. Okay, first off, I was not crazy. I did not hallucinate any of that, bro. That was all real. Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area, but of course they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set foot in those woods. Yeah, I mean, that would be the last time I ever set foot in, in woods, period. The anise still sits heavy in my stomach, even though many years have passed. The experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character, but I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. I think that's it, guys. I think that's it. Let's go. Wait now, first, hold up. I still think there's a whole ass man in the bathroom of my little minivan. But we're just gonna let that slide because we got the we got this little, you know, little animation of us getting out of here in the whip, bro. We're safe. We are good. Let's go. We just beat this shit. Alrighty. I like how they gave us a, a nice calm and, and and soothing little jingle we have here. I'm gonna turn this up so you guys can hear it with me. Look at this. It's so beautiful. Look at that. Cause we just beat the game. We're safe. We're good. Now let's go. <sighs> Alrighty, guys. Uh I'm gonna do my special thanks to all of you guys for sticking around and watching this or just watching me in general. 
Thank you so much. This is Fierce to Fathom Iron Bark Lookout. I hope you guys enjoyed me playing this because I certainly did making it. Um, and yeah, we're back to the title screen. I'm gonna call it a video right here, guys. I hope every single one of you guys have an awesome day. And thank you so much. See you later, guys.